Yo, what's going on guys? Donnie Bling coming at you with another video. Today I'm going to be talking specifically about teen lifters and teens that want to get into lifting. People think like right off the bat like you have to have like a lot of supplements, a lot of different uh, knowledge to see gains like right off the bat and that's not really true. So I'm going to talk to you guys specifically about like three things that helped me especially and what I think are like the main components to starting off getting into lifting and to see gains. The first thing I want to talk about just being consistent you know when you first start lifting a lot of people will get like a week or two in and they're gonna get super sore and they're just gonna lose their motivation to keep going to the gym and they're not gonna see that much progress right off the bat and they, they think well oh well I'm not seeing that much progress so I might as well just quit because it's not doing anything for me. If that's one thing that I can tell you guys even if you don't know like a bunch about lifting, if you don't know a lot about the different exercises and everything, stick to like the basic exercises, you know, bench, dumbbell press, curls, all the basic stuff that everybody knows about and stay consistent with it. Not necessarily make like a program, but just have like a schedule, you know, I'm gonna go three times a week to start, then maybe bump it up to four, bump it up to five. I go to the gym Monday through Friday, I take the weekends off usually, or I'll go like on Saturday sometimes if I don't, if I miss a day in the week, but I usually go Monday through Friday and then I take the weekend off. If you just stay consistent, I promise you're going to see gains, you're going to be able to start seeing progress, and once you get past that brink where you're like super sore, once your body gets used to lifting for a while, uh, you're not going to get as sore. One of my main things, just stay consistent with it you're gonna start seeing progress. And once you see like that little bit of progress, you're gonna start diving more deep into it. You know, there's a bunch of different YouTube videos out there and YouTubers that show you a bunch of nice exercises to help you. Definitely stay consistent, stick to a schedule, and I promise you're gonna see progress. The second thing I wanna talk about is training intensity. A lot of people think if you just show up to the gym, you go in there for 25, 30 minutes, get a little light workout in, and they're gonna see a bunch of progress and it just doesn't work like that. When you go into the gym, put your headphones in, don't pay attention to anybody else. A lot of people think they gotta throw as much weight as they can possibly on the bar or whatever it is they might be doing. They gotta lift as much weight as possible. So you just wanna be like lifting a weight that's gonna be beneficial to you. It doesn't matter what other people think because at the end of the day, you're in there for yourself. You're in there to better yourself. Have a hard workout. Make sure you're putting full effort, 100%, 110% into all the exercises you do. For most things, you do want to train to failure. So just make sure when you are in the gym and you are hitting your workout, you're hitting it hard. Don't just go in there to look around, look at yourself in the mirror a couple times, take a couple pictures and leave because it's not going to do anything for you. So yeah, keep the intensity up. Make sure you guys are training hard. The third thing I wanted to talk to you guys about um, is if I were to recommend like any supplements that you were gonna start off with I would only go with like a protein powder at the most I'm being honest with you guys No supplements are gonna do anything for you unless your nutrition's in place um, When you're just starting out lifting this is for anybody not just teens in general Supplements aren't gonna do anything for you unless you're putting on putting in all the other extra work for eating and training hard training intense all that stuff ties into supplements so I would recommend just like a protein powder. Get like your basic protein powder, gold standard. This is the protein I use now, Pro Action. It's pretty good, it tastes really good, it's good quality protein. But that's all I would recommend like supplement wise, just starting out, nothing other than that. So basically stay consistent, stick to your schedule. Make sure when you wake up in the morning, whenever it is, make sure you tell yourself that you're gonna go to the gym. Even if you're sore, you know, make sure you stretch do all that other stuff and once you start diving in and you get used to the schedule it becomes more of a routine more of a habit and that in turn is going to make you want to look up more videos you're going to improve your form just everything's going to be better if you just stay consistent intensity always train hard in the gym don't just show up if you're going to show up make sure you do something about it training intensity is everything if you're just doing super super lightweight all the time you're not going to get out of it what you should so just make sure you pick like a good weight, a good beneficial weight, not too light, not too heavy to start, and just train hard. And the third thing is don't go hard on the supplements, guys. I know it's tempting. There's a lot of good ads out there that promote like a lot of supplements, and they're not even all good for you. So if you're just starting out, I would just go with like a standard protein powder at the most just to drink like after a workout. That's all I want to talk to you guys about today. Make sure you 
check out my Instagram, Donnie underscore bling. Uh, make sure you hit the bell down below so you get all the updates when I upload. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.